Okay, so good afternoon. We're resuming now the testing of our cruise control system here. And yesterday I had a slight hiccup here. I had actually hooked up my ground wire to number 13 instead of 14 because I got them flipped. Now what we got here is now correct with what we got on the paper. You can see the numbers here. 13 is top left and 13 is top left here. Now what I wanted to show you is the uh, on how the system actually works. So what we do first is I got um, the amp meter set up to show you how much the current is. And then we're going to watch our accelerator paddle. And I'm going to hook up number five, which is the clutch. Whoops, I can't do this with two wires here, two wires, and we need to get to number 12. So this way we have the uh, ground hooked up. This is not easy with one end to get these reinserted with this shaking like this here. So you can see now the pedal is moving and now the clutch is holding it. And now we're going to release the clutch and it comes loose. So you can see the problem is not with the actuator. See this? I'm going, I'm hooking this up here. You can see it, it's going in, it's holding it, and it's releasing it. So this is all working correctly. That points now to the transistors and the actual unit, even with the changed things in there. Oh my God. Yeah, you can see this nicely. And just to show you the currents involved in this, let me show you this here. Oh my God. How am I gonna do this? This is all not very easy. Let me get the thing hooked up here first. That is difficult because I have only two hands and this is something with the camera where you actually need three hands. So I'm trying to get this back into five. This is now the clutch at 320 milliamps. And the clutch is enabled first. Let me see if I can get you a better view of this here. And turn this off, now I can see this. There we go. Now we can see this. This is now the clutch. And now watch the motor going up so once the uh, motor starts running if i can get the zinium you can see this and now we're basically bottomed out on this here so we're drawing about 800 milliamps and only when we get all the way to the back and that's it. So this is our clutch. Clutch engages, we can accelerate. About 650 milliamps. And now I'm gonna show you where the accelerator actually is in this. So you can see we have moved nearly to the middle position of this. And once it gets all the way over here to the full open throttle, then we're gonna have a problem. Now, if I had the fuel pump running, this is actuating the whole system. So our actuator is working correctly. It is now the control unit. And most likely we're gonna have some blown resistors there. So this is basically where this at. So I'm gonna show you this. Is I'm connecting plus 12 volts to pin number five plus side of the clutch. And then I have a jumper wire from number 10 to number 12 to ground our motor. And then I have plus 12 volts on this pin here, which I insert into seven, which is the motor. And then you can see this whole thing moving. This is what this should look like in a working system. Clutch engages first. See, I'm going too far. This is basically actuating now my kickdown switch 
that's why that actually so this system has to be capable of delivering two and a half amps to activate the kick down solenoid and then I release it and that's it so now I'm going to show you this again the first thing we're going to hook up is our 12 volt to um, the clutch and now you can go in here it will move freely it doesn't do anything and uh, I can go back in here and as soon as I there's your motor and all they do is they momentarily remove the clutch and all I did is I made a little jumper wire here you can see this this is coming from my meter so I can do the amps but basically the red one is just a jumper so I jump them I bring the 12 volts from here from the ignition to the meter to the plus lead and go with the black lead under my black lead and to the red lead they're paralleled and I can put this in I can have the clutch go uh, if I can get it in here like I said this, this is not very easy to do clutch is engaged and here comes number seven and uh, there goes my pedal so this is a working system what we got here on this part and I checked out number 11 the speed signal I checked it all the way out to the speedometer to that single plug you have in the back they're paralleled so I have a signal a good signal for speed actually coming into this here and that means that we either have to take this whole thing apart or actually get a new one I have another one coming and that is the one I will be putting in here and testing this so the replacement of the six capacitors was not enough to actually fix this unit and then for those in people interested in this uh, I made another I'm going to make another video a very theoretical video about these plugs and the part numbers for those uh, uh, control units I got all the numbers for the 420 SEL 560 SEL, 560 SL, and the 560 SEL, California, US federal versions all the way from 85 until 91 or whenever they stopped making that 92 or 93, I think, for the SL version. And then I will explain that to you how they work, okay? Until then, thanks.